times. Okay, so uh, challenging times. Never ever thought I'm going to do this online with anybody, but uh, making the best of the situation. So uh, everybody just join in. It's going to be a super fun session. Uh, for the ones who already do yoga and are aware of the poses, uh, this is going to be a very simple class. So we are not in competition with anybody. And the good part is nobody can see you. So uh, nobody is there to judge. We are not competing. I'm going to give you counts. I'm going to tell you to hold it for a couple of counts. But if you can't do it, so if I'm going to tell you 10 counts, and if you want to let go in five, please do. The only, and the only rule for the class is you're going to listen to your body. And that's a rule that goes for every class of mine. Listen to your body, your body talks to you. If there is a point where you feel, okay, I'm going to stop, I can't do this, please stop. And um, let's just be there, let's, let's help our kids do this. So mommies who are around, please join in. Uh, even daddies, why not? Uh, you can all join in and try, just, just give it a try for today. Yeah? So uh, we're going to start with, um, with a little breath. Wherein uh, I'm going to help, I'm going to take Ikra and uh, Ikra can you turn? It's called back to back breathing. So what we're going to do is, Ikra, I want you to sit with me. Back touching. Alright. Uh, make sure your backs are straight. So all mamas and babies, we're going to sit. Uh, Ikra, I don't want to slouch you. Can you, can you get a little closer? Yes. Superb. Now what we're going to do is uh, we are going to try and and breathe in sync. When I say in sync, um, we're going to try and breathe in and breathe out together. Now, how are we going to do that? Uh, if you pay attention, when you breathe in, you'll automatically see your body is going to, is going to, is going to touch. You're going to, you're going to feel your backs touching more. And as you breathe out, you'll feel a little gap between the two of you. So, mamas, this one is for you. Uh, maybe the kids won't be able to really sink in, but uh, I want you all to synchronize your breath with your child. Yeah, so uh, just sit comfortably, like simple crisscross uh, Sukhasan or the simple crisscross applesauce is what we call it. Yes, thank you, Ikra. So hands on your knees. You can either have them uh, palms facing down. You wanna you wanna hold them in a mudra with your with your fingers with the palms facing the the ceiling. That's fine too. I I normally prefer them downwards. So I'm gonna sit there. We're gonna close our eyes, and for the next one minute, while we synchronize our breath. We are also going to make an, an intention that we are going to be in this class for the next 45 minutes. When I say in the class, I am not only talking physically but also mentally. I know there are lots happening around, there are lots of thoughts going to come to our mind. But let's try for the next 45 minutes just to be here, enjoy this 45 minutes class. And uh, yeah, so let, let's start. So back straight. Last 10 seconds. All right, so once you're done with this, we're going to turn, you may, you may turn, the, uh, turn towards the screen like I am. And for everybody, um, there's a magic word that we use before we start any class. Can I say? Yes, and the magic word is Namaste. Namaste. Now it's not only for yoga. I think that's 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 the way we're going to beat everybody for a while now. So uh, before we start class, let's get our, get our palms in Namaste right in front of your chest. Make sure your back is straight. Uh, uh, chin. Uh, we, we're not going to look up. We're not going to look down. Make sure it's parallel to the ground. Uh, Ikra is trying Padmasin, you are most welcome to try Padmasin if you are not comfortable playing Sukhasana is fine. At the count of three, we all say Namaste together. So let's do this. One, two, and three. Namaste. namaste. Alright, so there's that 
one thing that we all missing today and that is to get out of our homes. So today's class, um, the theme is a visit to a park. I'm sure most of you guys and most of you kids out there, that's something that you're really missing is to going down to your favorite park and play, jump, slide, swing, all of it, right? So today we're going to use our imagination and we're going to try and go to a park today, okay? So uh, let's let's quickly, um, mamas, ask babies or babies, let's just discuss which is your favorite park. So Ikra, which is your favorite park? Um, I don't have. You don't have a favorite park? Okay, the, the park which um, I like taking me to on my birthday, which I don't know. Okay, I don't know. Anything around Bagra that you like? Where are we going on? Yeah. Um, uh, Bajaj. Oh, Bajaj Park. So Ikra likes Bajaj Park. Um, so whichever is your favorite park, let's let's just gear up to go to the park. Imagine today is the day wherein and Kakrod Park and Okay, Kakrod Park and Almeida and Joggers? Yes. Yeah. And Joggers as well. Okay. So whichever is the park that you love visiting with Mama or the ones you like to go to. And, and the other park which is close to our house, which is the monkey band the big thing. Okay. So lots of parks that we love going to and that's something that we normally do at least thrice a week we are up out there in one of the parks around Bandra. But uh, for now, we are going to use our imagination and go out there. Um, so once you've decided which park you're going to, normally what do we do? How do we start? We obviously, we open our doors, lock them up, either use the lift or go down the stairs. But for today, since we are getting into some women, let's not use the lift. Let's imagine we are going to use the stairs to go down. So let's stand up. Ika, can we have you on your mat, please? Okay, okay. I am pretty much visible, right? Everybody okay? Okay, can you want to stand there so they can see you as well? And face towards me. Okay, so we're going to stand with our feet together, our hands onto our hips, onto our waist rather. And you're going to imagine you're walking down the steps. So what we're going to do is basically we're going to do a few lunges here. You're going to take a big step in front. Let's go down and up and back now we use the other leg so always remember in yoga what you do on one side you have to do it on the other side so now that i use my left foot i'm going to use my right one so we go front and down and up and back all right so we're going to do this uh, a total of 10 times ready let's go so front and down and up and back front down up back Front, down, up, back, front, down, up, back. Come on. Front, down, up, back. Halfway there. Front, down, up, back. Irrespective of which floor you live on, we still going to do 10, okay? Up, back, front, down, up, back. Three more. Front. Down, up, back, last two, front, down, up, back, and the last step, front, down, up, and back. And normally what do we do? Uh, maybe some of us walk to the park, some of us drive to the park, some of us use a rickshaw to go to the park. But today, was today, some go on the bike, right? But for today, we are going to... We are going to cycle to the park. Okay? So now how are we going to cycle? So watch me. We're going to sit down. We're going to lie down. Okay? And we are going to use our legs to pedal. Now when I say pedal, make sure you are not doing this. We are not going to kick ourselves. Okay? We are going to make nice round big circles. I want you to make Round circles. Okay? And then just for this time, for this one, we will imagine your park is on the other side of a hill. So to begin with, we are going to go uphill and then we're going to zoom down here. Alright? So when we are going uphill, to begin with, we're going to do really slow rotations. So you're going to pedal a little slow, imagine you're going uphill, okay? So maybe your 10 of these, yeah? And like I said, use both your legs. So legs up in the air and let's begin. One, two, three, four, circles, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and the last 
last one. Ten, and now you reach the top of the hill, and it's time to go super fast. But like I said, remember, you are not gonna do this. We are gonna do this. You're gonna go round, okay? On your marks. Get set. And go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And finally, okay, move to your sides, turn to your sides, and sit down. And finally, imagine you have reached the park. You're right at the gate of the park. So now we're going to park our cycles right there. And what you want to do? What would you want to do? I mean, I think we would want to run into a park once you reach a park after 21 days of being locked up, right? So let's stand up and we're going to run. So we're going to do some spot running, some spot jogging. And how are you going to do this? So, okay, you're going to run. Okay, so exactly for maybe 45 seconds, we're going to run, okay? On your marks, get set, and go. One. Run, 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 run. Imagine the feeling you're going to go into the park for free. Come on, 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 come on. Yes. Let's get that happy dressing because this is warm ups that we're doing before you get into a proposal. mountain pose for the mountain pose all you're going to do is be as strong and steady as a mountain okay so hands by your sides rotate your shoulders get them down you're going to just stay there and while you close your eyes i want you to imagine you're right in the center of the back you want to go to imagine all the things that you see in the back Trees, birds, your swing, your slide, your sandpit, green grass, people walking, children playing. Just stay there. to the sounds around you if you're what open up your windows feel the breath feel the air coming in feel feel try and listen to the sounds around all right now slowly open your eyes and there we are at your park and what's the first thing that you noticed in your park because what did you see a swing. A swing, okay, that's, that's, we will get to the swing. But before we get to the swing, let's do the first, uh, another pose, uh, first pose for today rather. Uh, let's do the tree pose. Those lush green trees, those tall trees. Oh, we miss them so much. So, uh, for the tree pose, you're going to get your feet together. You're going to get your feet together, okay. Um, for now, either have your hands in your waist, or you can have your hands in Namaste. Yeah. Uh, this is a balancing pose, so uh, let's try doing it first on our own, and then if it gets a little difficult, we're going to try and help each other, okay? Uh, Ikra, let's try. So Ikra has already tried getting into the pose. For you guys, what I suggest is first choose which one leg, which one leg you're comfortable with, and first get onto your toes of that leg. Now slowly, slowly, try moving that leg up. It's okay if, 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 you, if you're going to, uh, imagine it's a windy day and you're going to sway, so when trees sway, right? But we are trying, we are going to try not to hop around. So try. Like I said, it's not about being perfect. It's just about practice. So practice let's try. Practice makes you perfect. Yes, practice makes us perfect. What? So technically, this is where you want to reach. Make sure your knees are not in front of you. Your knee is pushed towards your side. Yeah, hands in namaste. When you're ready, when you think you're okay, you, you got yourself here. I'm okay even if your leg is here. Even if it's here, it's fine. Just make sure you're not pushing it on your knee. So you don't want to damage your knee there. So either it's above the knee, below the knee, even, like, even this, it's okay. Okay, and then when you're ready to open up your branches of the big tree that you are, take your hands up and stay there. 
Okay. I'm gonna come to the time. Uh, I'm gonna come to Danielle. Ready? Super good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Remember, what you do on one side, you always do it on the other side. Now, this one is for the ones who are not able to probably balance the way we are. So, let's help each other. Come here. Let's hold hands. Let's hold hands. Okay. I'm going to use the other leg. So same thing. Pick your leg. Place it wherever you're comfortable. Let's hold hands. Ready? And when you're ready, maybe you can get your hands up. So there we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. Nine, and we are swaying and <laughs> dead. Oh, it was a windy day today. All right, now that we've come to the trees, tell me, who do you see on these trees? Birds. Birds, that's it. So we're going to first try, going to be another balancing pose, which is the bird pose. Now, this is a little tricky, but there's no harm trying, right? So feet together, open up your wings, stretch them out, okay? There's no place. Okay, you can come to my mat. Okay, open up your waist. Now what we're going to do is always remember where you look is where you go. So, if you want to, what you're going to do is you're going to bend forward and make sure you focus on any one point right in front of you. So remember to bend, open up those wings, focus on one point and slowly, slowly, slowly lift, 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 lift the leg and hold. Let me give you a little side angle. Why don't you go to your mother and ask you to the mother's side? You go like this. Next to me. Or you can go opposite me. So our wings don't hurt each other. Okay? So that's our wings. We're going to bend. And like I said, focus. Choose any one point down on the floor. Slowly lift. 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 And hold. One. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And like, Ikra fell to the ground, no worries. We stand up, we try again. So this one is how we're going to help each other. So mamas, this is something that you'll have to adjust. Either hold them on the forearms, like this, forearms. Or if your child is tall and we need more space when we bend forward. So Ikra, let's try so stand opposite each other. Let's bend forward. Okay. Okay. And slowly lift. One. Okay. And let me help you. Two. Mama's come. Let me help. Let's just help them. Three. Ikra, you can you can lean on me completely. Don't lean on Mama's. Four. Fantastic. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. And you always thought flying was easy, right? It's not that easy. Okay, what else do you see on these trees, Ikra? I see leaves. We see leaves and? And branches. Branches. Okay, so we had our leaves and a branch come out. We saw birds. Something else that has, you know, colorful wings. What's that? A parrot. But parrot's like a bird. Anything else? What about butterflies? Did anybody say butterflies there? Yeah, so let's, let's get into the very famous butterfly pose. So we sit down. Let's sit down. I know. It's been a while. Okay. So let's get your feet together in Namaste in front of you. So what you normally do is stretch up your legs. Yeah. And then you pull them in and form a Namaste with your feet. So basically, get your feet together. Yeah. Try not slouching. That's not what we're going to do for now. We're going to try and keep our back straight. Yeah. And you can use your peace fingers to hold your big toe. All right, and let's start flapping those wings. So imagine the color of the butterfly, whatever color you want to be. That's it's absolutely your choice. Yeah. Okay? So let's go slow first. One. So your aim is, unlike me, I I just cannot do this, but I am still practicing. You need to get your knees touching to the floor. Okay. So most kids are really flexible and they can do it really well. 
So let's go. One, two, three, let's go slow. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and the tenth one. We're going to really try pushing them. Out. Let's go. Come. And ten. Hold. Try. Push those knees down. Okay. So try. See. Let's avoid heating up. Two hands up. Yeah? Okay, now let's just go faster. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And now we're gonna swing a little. So let's rock. Let's rock. Two, three, no, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, and ten. All right, let's take this a little further. You want to get something? You may go get it quickly. These are your peace fingers. You're going to use your peace fingers. I'm going to use my right leg first. You can choose whichever that you want. Okay, use your peace fingers to get hold of your big toe. And slowly, slowly, without, without losing your balance, we are going to try and open. One. Okay, it's okay even if you're here, okay? Even if you're here. But try, try not, try not slouching your back. Oops, my wife came out. Okay, we're back. Okay, so when you're doing this, A, try keeping your back straight. Yes, yeah, so even when you leave, your, there's a tendency you might just slouch or you might curve your back. We're going to try not curving our back. So when we are there, we're going to try and keep our back straight. Now it's okay if your legs are not straight. Just stay there. Better go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Let's use the other leg. Ow. Ow. Let's come on. Come on, come on, come on. Up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And now that we are the, the, the butterfly here, where do these butterflies go? Where do they go sit on? Flowers. flowers. So let's get into the flower pose. Okay, this one, I want you to first watch. Okay? So, we're going to continue keeping our legs the way they were in the butterfly. But this time, we're going to keep our wings a little higher. We're going to take our palms up in our mm -hmm. Yes, Yes, Sikra. Let me just show to them what you're doing is right. Okay? From here, you're going to imagine you're diving in. So you're going to use those palms. You're going to dive in. I'm doing this really slow so that you can see. Dive in. Reach the center. And get your hands out. Slowly, you're going to lift one leg. Lift the other. And this is what we call as the flat muscle. Yeah? So let's do this together. I'm going to do it from this. I, I, I just hope this angle is good. Or maybe a little slant. Get your hair back. Hands up. Let's dive in, 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 dive in. Get your hands out. Both the sides. Okay. Once you're here, let's do one leg at a time. So let's start with one leg. Okay. Lift your leg. And slowly, you're going to lift the other. Try. Wherever you are, no worries. Just, just be there. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine, and ten. All right, from flowers, um, let's go into some bumps around. Uh, let's let's go back into uh, what about the ants that you see? We see a huge variety of ants in the past, right? We see the black ones, the red ones, the big ones, the small ones. So for the ant again, getting back. Yeah, we need Into, butterfly yes, these are variations of the butterfly. So from your, you again gonna dive, 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 dive. Remove those hands out, but this time it's easy. You gonna keep your hands on your feet, and from here you're gonna try and go down with your head touching your feet. Yeah, let's do this together. So sticking, 
back into the butterfly, hands up, let's dive, 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 remove your hands out, get them onto your toes and we form a namaste with our feet and our hands together and from here, let's get our head to our feet, so let's go, there. one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Alright, I think. What else? What about the animals that you see around? Um, mm. Cats. Cats? We do see cats? Dogs. Okay, I think we're going to see your face here. Okay. <laughs> so, let's, let's get into the cat pose. The cat pose is a very simple pose. Yes. We are going to get into a table. Yeah? Now, when I say a table, we all have a table at the, in the house, right? So, make sure your back isn't arched, nor is it curved. Your table, when you have a straight back, and imagine if I keep a glass of hot milk on it, we do not want that milk to spill, right? So, back straight, open up your fingers wide, wide, big claws, okay? Big paws, rather, sorry. And knees right under your hips. This is your table. Now we are going to become a happy cat and a scared cat. So for the happy cat, what you're going to do is you're going to look up. As, as the minute you start looking up, your back is going to arch. And then for a scared cat, you're going to curve your back. Round it and look towards your stomach. Yeah. So breathe in. Look up. Breathe out and curve your back. You are also free to move while you are getting into the cat pose. But let's do this. Breathe in. What sound does the cat make? And breathe out. Breathe in. And breathe out. And for the last time, breathe in. And breathe out. From here, let's get our toes together, toes touching. And we're going to go back and relax in what we call as the rock pose or balasana or chai pose. So from the table, you're going to move your hips. Your bottoms touching your feet. And your head onto the ground, pour it on the ground. No, because it's not. You can do what I'm doing. Stay there. Stay there. Breathe. This pose is amazing. Whenever you want to relax, rather than just sleeping, get into this pose. Stay there for another 50 seconds before we can do a few more other rounds of exercises. Make sure you rest yourself well. Forehead on the ground. If you can have a forehead on the ground. Alright, time to get into some action again. So we come back into our table. And this time, we are going to become dogs, okay? So for the dog, what you're going to do is from here, all you need to do is lift your knees up and try and have your feet flat on the ground. So you're going to try and push your weight behind, feet flat. Try and touch your crown towards the ground and you're going to look at your belly. Still there. Get onto your back. Hold it there. One, two, three. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Get your knees down. Let's sit. Let's take a break. When I say a break, we're going to take a couple of deep breaths. Can we just get back? Come on. Come on. All right, Fabio, we're going to do this one more time, or rather two more times. But this time, so watch, what we did was a four-legged dog, right? When I say four, this is my one, two, three, and four. So this time, let's try and become a three-legged dog, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to lift one leg up and hold. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Bring that leg down. And like I said, what we do on one side, we do it on the other. So let's lift the other leg up and hold. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Get those knees down, push your hips back, and relax. Breathe. Deep breaths. You may breathe in from your, through your nose and breathe out from your mouth. Three more breaths. Breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. All right, time to move to the most, most wanted part of the park. Any guesses? Swing, slide, the seesaw, yeah? All right, so let's begin with the slide, okay? So for the slide, what are we going to do? Okay, you're going to sit with your knees bent, feet flat on the floor for now. Take your hands, keep them right beside your hips. Okay, or you make it a little behind. Okay, let's get them a little behind. Okay. From here, open up one leg. Stretch out the other. Lift yourself up. And stay there. Yeah. Everybody with me, let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, and ten. Slowly get your hips down and relax. We're going to do this one more time. You're going to slide down. I'm sure you want to do this one more time, right? Come. Okay. So, again, bend your knees. Palms. Behind, slightly behind. But flat on the ground. So, open up your fingers. Keep them nice and wide. You're going to make sure you're going to press down into the ground. So, you need... All your fingers straight and open there, right? So, hands behind. Extend your legs. Here, I'm not asking you to go down. Keep them, your knees slightly bent. Feet are still flat. You can see my feet. They're still flat there. Yeah. Now, you're going to raise your, lift them up, lift them up, lift your hips up. Now, open up the legs. And look behind. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, from the slide, let's go to the swing. So this is going to be a little tricky for some of you guys. Mamas, take it easy. Babies normally are very good at doing this. For this, we need to get into Padmasana. So first, let me show you how you know, get into Padmasana. Padmasana is what we call as the lotus pose, which is a slight variation of what we do as a basic crisscross pose. So this is Sukhasana or the basic crisscross applesauce. From here, lift one leg, put it on the opposite thigh. Take it a little higher. If this is too stiff, let's just push it down. So maybe let's try. Let's do this ten times. One, uh -huh. two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now the leg, the other leg. Normally we have a leg under under the um, the leg that is being lifted. So you're going to push that foot in front, open it up. Now lift that leg and pull it up. Yeah. So this is what a padmasana looks like. It's okay if you're not getting it this time. It all happens with practice. Okay. So for ones who can do this, let's just quickly try. So from here, you're going to try and lift yourself up and swing. If I hate this to swing, can you move a little in front? You move a little in front. 
more. Oh, face me. Turn around and face me. Yeah? So from your Padmasana, lift yourselves up. And I'm sure Kabir is doing this. He's, he's, he's Kabir Suba. You're a champ at this. Come on. One. Come on. Try. Try. Okay. Not ten. Maybe let's let's try five. Okay, this one just five. Super. Very nice. Most kids are able to do this. Like I said, they are born yogis. Kids are born with natural flexibility and rhythm in their body. So let's just help them extend it. One, two, three, four, and five. Yeah? One last time? One last time on the swing? Hurts? It hurts a little. One last time. One last time. Okay? So quickly get to your Padmasins. If you're going to sit crisscross, it's going to be a little difficult because your feet are going to go back to the ground. So you have to have your feet up there. Open up your palms by your sides. Lift yourself up. Come on. One, two, three, four, and five. All right. After the swing, we come to the last part of the pose, uh, of the yoga poses, or rather the, the game that we're going to play today is what we call as the seesaw. Okay. So let's get into the seesaw. Come on. We need to stand up. Okay. Now in this game, there's going to be mamas, uh, or if you're a sibling, the older one, let's, let's have one follower and one, uh, one leader and one follower. So mamas, it's better you be the leader. And babies, I want you, yes, Ikra, I'll give you a turn as well. So for the first time, Ikra behind me, let's open up our hands. Okay, I hope you can see me. Okay, from here, how does the seesaw go, right? So it goes, see, saw. See, so. Now what we're gonna do? We're gonna continue, right? We're gonna go see, so. And when I call out freeze, wherever you are, so if you're here, if I say freeze, you're gonna hold this, okay? How long? Uh, five. Yeah, let's do five. Okay. Ready? Ready? Okay. If you're ready, done. So open up. That's your see, so. On your marks, get set, and go. Seesaw. Seesaw. Freeze. Hold. One, two, three, four, and five. And let's begin. Seesaw. 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 See, and freeze. Oops, I came back to the same side. But wherever you are, freeze. One, two, three, four, and five. Oops, careful. One last time. See, so. See, so. Freeze, freeze. Stay. One, two, three, four, and five. No. Hi guys. Sorry. Leader. Okay. Uh, Ikra wants to be a leader. Do you want to do this one more time? I'm not sure. Okay. Let's just do this one more time. Let's come in front. In front. Okay. So let's switch roles. So this time, babies take, become leaders. Hands by your side. Ikra, let's go. You want to call out seesaw? Yeah. Let's do it. Okay. 
So try not moving, just relax, get your breath back before we do a beautiful breath before we end the class. Yeah? So I'm going to do this with you. Let's lie down. Always, always. Okay, one last thing. While coming up, okay, I'm showing this to you so that when, you, when you're already down there, always, whoever is doing this, whenever you're getting up, wherever you're sleeping, okay, you're always going to turn to your sides, use your palm to give support, take support, push yourself out, but always sideways, okay. So, um, back to sleeping. Let's go down. Let's relax. Legs open. Hands. See, uh, palms facing the ceiling. You may hold hands. It was holding my hand. And Let go, let go of all the feelings inside you. Try not moving. I do not want any moments. Just try. Slowly begin your fingers, begin your toes, get back some movement in your body, get your feet together. And like I said, first turn to your side. So you're going to sleep onto your sides. Your hand, which is not down, the one which is on top, you're going to use that palm onto the ground. And now you're going to sit sideways. This will help your back all through. I mean, yeah. All right, so now, uh, this is how we're gonna end class, is with a beautiful breath, which is called the um, take five finger breath, okay? Very uncertain times, lots of tension, anxiety, panic. Uh, this breath is amazing to just calm yourself down. Very simple, do not need anything, no props needed. Do it wherever you want, whenever you want, okay? So what we're gonna do, okay? It's called the take five finger breath. So we're gonna use our fingers. So we're gonna open up our palms of one hand, okay? Open them nice and wide, okay? You're gonna take the pointer finger of the other hand. And now we are gonna trace along the fingers of the palm that is open with the pointer. But, but, while you trace, we are also going to try and breathe in a rhythm, okay? So when you go up your finger, you wanna breathe in, and when you come down, you wanna breathe out from your mouth, you wanna go. So let me show you this, you'll breathe in. As you go up, you wanna breathe in, and breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Yeah, so we're going to do this together. Like I said, open up your fingers. This, this breath is magical. Trust me. Close your eyes. Just pay attention to where you're moving and, and synchronize your breath accordingly. Okay, let's get into that rhythm. Your pointer finger, open up your palms. Start from your thumb. Okay, you can close your eyes here so that it's easier for you to focus. Breathe in. Come down, breathe out. Breathing in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out.
breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. And breathe out. Okay. Staying there. With your eyes closed, wherever you are, bringing your hands together in Namaste, right in front of your chest. Remember, I said there's a magic word with which we start class and with which we end class. So at the count of three, we all say Namaste together. Yeah? One, two, and three. Namaste. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining in. I hope it was it was it's a class which you'll enjoy. Uh, please DM us or comment or whatever. Let me know how we did. Uh, it's, it, there were uncertain times. I know these are difficult times, but like they say, tough times don't last, tough people do, and we all in this together. So stay home, stay safe, and um, let me know if, if you really enjoyed this. I, I, I would love to do this again. We can come up with more themes. So waiting for your comments, waiting for your feedback. If there is anything you think we need to add, we can improvise, please do let us know. And I hope to see you all soon. Take care. Thank you.